welcome back to my channel so in this video i show you how to create my first um eid look for 2019 so this is a look that i came up with it's a yellow and black smoky winged out eye look um i didn't know where i was going to go with this look but in the end i quite like how it turned out anyway if you want to see how i created it then please keep watching and subscribe as well if you haven't already Ugh, disgusting well uh, and everything else is the usual. You can see I've got my eyebrows and my base down. So we're using MAC paint pot, is it? Yes, the paint pot in a laying low, and this is the shade. So what this will do is just cancel everything out on my eyelids and just prep everything. So as you can tell, I've not got my base on because I wanted to go for like a yellow and black smoky eye kind of look but I don't know. We shall see how it goes anyway. So what I'm gonna do first is go in with the black shade. Uh, so the reason why I've not done my base is because it's gonna be a black. Um, I didn't want to get it all over my base. So first is go in with a brown color. So I'm gonna mainly use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So this one, this is the, um, the first edition that she did. I've not got the newer one because I didn't see the point because this one, basically works for me um, and then I've also got some single eyeshadows from like Makeup Geek so I might go in between both um, and depending on what colour I want to go for so the first shade I'm going to go in with is just sandalwood and I'm just going to apply this onto the crease so I've not set my base either so this is why I'm just patting on the shade so that the colour um, sticks on to the base first. So this will be my first Eid look. Uh, I'm hoping to do at least two or three looks. Um, but the first one that I thought of was this yellowy um, and black one because Eid will be in June and therefore it'll be quite warm. So I wanted something that was quite summery but yet um, very smoky as well. So I've never done a smoky eye before. I tend to go for more easier looks for Eid, um, just because I tend to wear a lot of colour. But if you're wearing like a black outfit or a yellow outfit, I guess you could do this look. We'll go into Sidekick from Makeup Geek. So I've not washed my brushes just because I knew I was gonna use a black eyeshadow. <coughs> um, so they're all a bit dirty. Go into Sidekick and I might actually tap into a little bit of Cabin Fever and just put this straight in to the crease just to intensify that crease because I want to make it look quite deep set in there. So what I'm doing is putting my brush laying flat and then the tip is just literally in that crease going around. You can already tell that like, you can see the difference of the depth from this side to this side. I'm going to try and keep my brushes quite separate as well just because there's going to be a lot of blending and I don't really want the colours to like get all muddled up together. I still want to see the different colours. I'm just going more in now with the sidekick on the outer corner of the eye and then when I've got less on the brush, I'll go in towards the in, inner corner, blending it out, and then I'll go back in with the sandalwood brush. And this was the Real Techniques um, side crease, I don't know, something like that. The brush has actually faded away. Now I'm going to go in with the black shade, but I want to use a smaller brush. So. I might use this uh, Makeup Geek one. So I'm gonna go into Black Truffle and this is from Huda's palette. So I'm gonna apply this onto the lash line first, like the first pay, first color, or the first dip. So I already can see it's gone down to the bottom, which is why I didn't do my base. And then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I use, the sidekick and everything on just to blend it out. What, I'm, what I envision is doing like a oh, smoky out wing. 
I probably would be better off using some tape. I don't think I've got any though. I'm going to slightly go in to the crease with less product. I want to make sure that this bit here is just fully blended where the tape is. Just pick a bit more up. Because when you do blend, some of the colour just um, diffuse a bit. And you don't get that intense shade that you first put down. Oh, it does look quite nice actually. It'll probably all come together when I've got everything on like my base makeup and all that. While I'm filming this, we're actually on, is it day nine of Ramadan? Um, I've actually found it quite all right this time. I think it's the, the sleep um, that's messing me up because I have to wake up about three, two or three times. Um, so I go to work, got to wake up for that. And then I'll come home, <laughs> fall asleep on the sofa and then I'll wake up again to then break my fast to make iftar and then I'll stay up for a bit and then I'll go back to bed and then wake up again for sahri to like eat so it has been quite hard but it's not been like the starving hasn't been the hardest thing it's the mark being tired and having to wake up that's been the most tiring so I'm liking the shape that this is going into I'm just literally adding a little bit of colour with the Makeup Geek brush and then blending it out with the other one. So applying those brows has just helped it just to blend in a bit more nicer. What I'm going to do now is just clean underneath my brow bone and I'm going to go into Huda's palette using the shade Bay just to bring some light right there like that and then I use my first brush for sandalwood just to blend it in and it just brings just a little bit of light there but it also will help to clean everything up oh so that is just the base of the eye so far when i take the tape off i'll probably see um little bits that need a bit more blending but for now i'm really happy with this so for the yellow um i don't know whether i wanted to go into this shade from makeup forever so that's the yellow. Focus that shade there. Or I've also got a foil shadow from Makeup Geek. And it's this one. I can't remember what it's called. I've not used them in a while. Fortune Teller. So I've also got this one from that one there from Makeup Geek. And this one's for Makeup Forever. So I don't really know which one to go in with. Oh yeah, I've also got this. Um, it's supposed to be a highlighter from Jeffree Star. And this is Mean Money. But it's got that um, green shift to it. So I've got this one too as an alternative. But I guess that would more be a topper than anything. I mean, we could put it on top. We'll see. So I might cut the crease. Um, what shall I I'm gonna actually cut it with my base. So I've just got this brush, I don't know what it is. I've had it for years and years. Just apply my base on the back of my hand and then I'll do like a half cut crease with it. I was gonna use concealer, but then I just thought, um, cause concealer's quite wet, it might be a bit more difficult. So when you cut any crease, instead of swiping it, you want to apply the colour and drag it down. Because if you swipe, what you end up doing is moving the shadows that are underneath as well. So I'm just doing it a little bit at a time. It's actually better to close your eyelid and then open it and see where you are with it. I think I'm quite happy with that. I think the more you do a cut crease, you know where the line needs to start because I've got slightly hooded lids where the um, top part drains down. So I have to go a bit higher up 
to get my um, my eyelid in to make it look a bit more bigger. So I think that's my shape, and what I'm going to do is with the tip of the brush is just blend the edge a bit, just so it will make it a bit more easier instead of having that harsh line. And then I'll go in with the little brush that I had from Makeup Geek and just try to blend that edge in. And I'm just literally wiggling the brush just to blend it in and then I'll go back in with the more fluffier one as well. So while I'm here what I might do is just intensify this black a bit more and then blend it out. For a second there I thought I wasn't recording. I would have been gutted. Okay. So I'm going to apply, I think I'm going to go in with Fortune Teller from Makeup Geeks. It's more of that um, shimmery yellow gold. And it's more shinier than the other one, the Makeup Geek. Um, the Makeup Forever one. So I'm going to apply it with my, well, apply it with my finger first just to get maximum payout. And then I'll pick up my brush. to go around the side of where I've cut the crease because I don't want to like mess up that crease when I've cut it to be nice, you know. Alfie, this is the M508 brush. I'm just going to bring it past the black and then I'll blend it out in a bit. Ooh, I like that. I mean, it all depends on what it looks underneath the uh, tape. But. So I'm going to pick up the Makeup Geek brush and just tap those two shades in so they blend. And then I'll pick up the other one just to try the blend. So I'm always going in between the shades. I'm going to do it with my finger now, just to tap it in. Oh, I quite like that. So just on the little tops of it, just as a little topper, I'll put this mean money on top. And it's got some flecks of glitter in it. So that will bring... You can't really see it on camera, I don't think, but in certain lights, it looks green. But you still see that shift. Of yellow. I'm gonna bring more of that yellow back on. So it's just trial and error really um, with all of this. And like, I don't even know what this look was gonna be like but I guess it's better than what I envisioned. So that's that bit done. So before I take the tape off I just want to make sure the black is fully blended. Should we reveal? I'm gonna hold my skin down. I want to get saggy. Yeah, that, that actually turned out really nice. I like that. So when you take it off, you can see where you need to blend. So I need to blend a little bit here because it looked a bit patchy. I'm just gonna blend that a bit. I might bring in my little brush actually, just to make sure I'm not going a bit too over. And then bring the original brush, which was the sandalwood one. So that's just the first step, but only obviously the top of the eye. Um, what I'll do is I'll do the other eye off camera, and then I'll come back and show you the base makeup. Because I don't tend to show you the base makeup because I think it might look a bit boring um, for people to look at. But I'll do it this time and show you, and then. Hopefully we like the whole look. So far, I quite like the eye look. It's quite pretty. And like I said, I've never done this before. I've got both eyes done. I'm just gonna move everything out of the way. So I'm gonna go in with my base. And I'm gonna get everything out, but for some reason I'm running a bit slow today. Hold on. Please hold. Again. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my nipple. Oh. My Nivea after 
my shade bar. I've always used this as my um, primer because I like how sticky it is. So I've got to be careful with my eyebrows and everything because all of that is done. I'm going to use now to fill in the pores my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Pore Minimizer. I'll put it so like the side of my nose. Um, I put a little bit on my nose. I feel like it gives it that smoother appearance on you know, the sides of my mouth. You know where your smile line is now? Just there. <laughs> For foundation, if I can find it. There we go. I had a, um, a not a clear up, but a tidy pop on my, uh, on my drawers. And now I can't find anything. So I'm going to go in with the Collection Illuminating Touch Foundation. So it's this one here. So I like this one because it's um, not matte. Um, it gives you like a dewy finish. Well, not a dewy finish either, but it doesn't look flat or anything. So before I apply that on top of eyeshadow, let's wipe my hand. So I'm going to take a pump onto the back of my hand. And I've been using a brush to apply my makeup with. So the brush I'm going to use is this. Um, makeup Revolutions. Not makeup. I can't talk. Makeup. No, it's not makeup. Real Techniques. That's it. Real Techniques brush. It's a buffing brush that I use. So I used to use um, sponges for my makeup off my foundation. I can use it for my concealer now, a sponge. But for a foundation, I prefer to use a brush because I like the finish that it gives. So I'm just going to buff this in in circle motions. Why is this brush hair on my face? I always tend to forget like the tip of my nose like the end of that and then that bit's just like got nothing on it at all. And at the minute, I am suffering with a little breakout right in between my eyebrows. But I'm not really that bothered because I'm going to take all of this off once I'm done filming. I think I did pretty good with like my hairy eyebrows like that. I'm just going to go underneath the chin just to make sure that everything has no little harsh lines. So I like to blend the foundation in until the brush feels like it's dry. As you can see, it's not matte. You can still see a bit of shine on my skin. And that's what I like because um, I suffer with dry skin. So I don't want to make it look like it's matte and looks dry. I want to make it look like it's healthy. And... So now I'm just going to colour correct using um, LA Girls Peach Concealer. So this is just to take out any... Um, dark circles under my eyes which I do suffer from so I'm just going to pat this in with my finger and then I'll go in with the foundation so I only use a little bit of this product because it is quite potent um, and if you use too much you will end up seeing like a peachy pink undertone for your concealer and that's not what you want ultimately I don't want it anyway I'm just going to grab my Sigma concealer brush. So the reason why I use this is because the uh, concealer that I use is the Age Rewind from Maybelline. And I'm taking the ball off at the end because I felt like it was just taking up too much product and wasting it. So I ended up taking it off and using this brush to apply it with. So I'm going to apply this in my usual areas so like under my eyes bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead and then on my chin so i just want to bring some light back so this is where i go in and blend with my little sponge this i think is the eco tools pro uh, sponge that i use um, I used to use the, um, what's it called, the Beauty Blender one, but it's too expensive. Ooh. I'm just going to go in, which might have not applied cream on this. I'm going to go in and blend the concealer out. So I've always done my base makeup first, 
So it's going to be interesting to see how I go with like underneath the eye. You know where? Because I've got a bit of makeup there. I try and avoid it as much as I can. But I mean, if we touch it, then not the end of the world. I'm just going to blend this in. So as you can see, already it's giving you the um, the three dimensional look. Now my sponge is damp, but to the point where it's a little bit on the dry side. So I wet, I wet, <laughs> I can't talk. I wet it, oh, I wet the sponge way before I started um, filming. And obviously, because I normally do my base makeup, it would have been used already. Because I did my eyes, um, it's dry down a little bit. But what this is doing, I think I quite like it, is it's giving me the coverage of the concealer. It's not taking a lot of it away. I get when I get towards like the left side of my face, it's with anything. I get bored. I like my right eyebrow, I like my right eyelids, you know, to do makeup and that. And then I just get bored of the left side. I don't know why. It's not favouritism or anything. Um, it's just the way it is. So, just make sure that everything is blended. Sometimes I'll bring in my brush, you know, when it's looking a bit too much harsh. Not too fussed about not going right up to the um, eyeshadow because I'm going to apply um, eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Anyway. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm just gonna set it with some powder. And this is the MUA Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder and this is in the shade Banana Bake. I used to use um, Translucent from Collection, but since using this yellow one, I, I've found that it helps with, um, to make my makeup look a bit more lifelike. In the sense that when I used to use the Translucent one, it used to make me look very like grey and ashy underneath but by using this one it gives me that yellow tone that my skin already has so I'm just going to let that sit there for a bit I'm not initially like baking as such I'm just going to let it sit there and just go around the places where I've applied the concealer as well and then this powder too um, I don't find it to be really really matte either it has a little bit of a like a sheen when you do remove it off your face. So that's that bit. So I'm just gonna go in and bronzer skin now. So I've not applied my um, cream bronzer. Well, it's a foundation, but like I said, I'm taking it off later. Don't matter. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is in the shade Deep Cool. So it's just that shade there. Um, it is quite dark, but I apply less of it. I've not done makeup um, since I started fasting, so to see like my face and my skin like this, it's quite strange in a sense. Not weird, but I do. I love wearing makeup. I think it's my uh, creative escape that I have, um, and just playing with like new colours and techniques and everything. I just love it. So I've missed it really. Go down underneath the chin. So applying the bronzer now is bringing my face to life. I'm just going to pinch the brush now and go down the sides of my nose because I don't want the nose to go missing. And just a little bit underneath the bottom lip and what this does is just make the lip look a bit more poutier. So much like dry skin on my face, you know with like fasting because you don't tend to drink a lot, well you're not supposed to drink any water so because I've not been drinking a lot of water my skin's just getting drier and especially my forehead it gives it all away but we're fine. So I'm going to go back in with my powder and just bake underneath 
the cheekbones because I want that to be quite prominent because I quite like having that shape there on my face. This powder is really fine. <laughs> Uh, it goes everywhere. I can just see it floating around everywhere. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the center of my face. And then just pinch it to get the sides of the nose. I'm gonna put a little bit, you know where my pores are here. Just to fill them in a bit. So I'm back after baking the face. I'm gonna take everything off now using a brush. I've actually let this bake for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't generally leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and mainly go underneath the eyes because a lot of the powder was underneath the eye. And then go onto like the top of the nose as well just to make sure that everything is fully sunken in. I'm just gonna do the lower eyelids, uh, eyelids, lower lash line now for the makeup. So we're gonna go and use the same colours as we did previously. So what I'm gonna do is pick up, I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques brush again, this is just the crease brush, and I'm gonna pick up the two Makeup Geek shades, and that was Sidekick and Cabin Fever. Mix those two again, and I'm gonna tap it off as well because we've already got our base done and then go, I need a mirror, I can't see. So I didn't want to bring the black all the way down here. So the black that we have left over from when we had that tape on, I'm gonna bring that in towards it, just so it blends in it nicer. And again, a bit more, tapping it off. I'm gonna ruin this um, sharp edge that we've got as well from the tape. I'm trying to avoid that. So when I apply my lower lash line colour, I tend to apply it un right underneath my eyes. I'm iris, my people. Iris, people? I don't know. And, and then I'll just literally wiggle the brush from side to side to apply the colour. God, I've not done this in a while and it's making my eyes feel a bit weird. <laughs> It's weird how quick um, we can like adjust to things. While I'm applying it, I am thinking of whether to bring in a bit of the black eyeshadow underneath. Would it bring it in all the way or anything? I might do a little, so I'll just go in a little bit. Again, that will give you that cat eye, open eye kind of look. As we do makeup, I like to crouch down into my chair but I need to remember that I need to sit up straight and talk to the actual camera lens and not the monitor on my camera. Okay, so that's that bit done. So for blusher, I don't know what kind of colour to go for. I didn't want to go anything too bright, um, mainly because it's a dark colour on the eyelid. So what I thought I would do is go in with uh, my favourite brush that I used to use all the time back in the day and this is Gingerly by MAC. It's got a big dent in the center, obviously, because uh, you see that much. And I'm gonna apply this just onto like the apples and then push it back. So this has got no shimmer in it. I do have something peach from MAC as well. I can't really remember what it was um, that I used to use, and that's got a bit of a, a golden shimmer to it. I want it something a bit more matte and then I want the shimmer to come from my highlighter. So I'm going to tight line using Urban Decay's Perversion and this pencil is so stubby because I've used so much of it. And then I'm just going to do like a very thin line at my lash line using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. So that's the eyeliner. So all I did was just line the upper lash line. So I'm just going to curl my mascara, mascara, curl my lashes and go in with mascara. So the mascara I've got is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal for the upper. And then I go in with my um, Push Up Angel from Maybelline because the wand is a bit more skinnier and a lot more smaller. Just done my 
uh, brow mascara. I'll just put it away. So I use the um, L'Oreal Blow Artist. Blow Artist? Blow Artist plumper, just this one here. And this is in the shade medium dark. I used to use the Maybelline, um, I can't talk, Maybelline brow precise because I like the brush because it was flatter um, and that it had fibres in it. But I've quite been actually liking this one. And this one's got a little, a small brush, just there. And it has got little fibres in it as well. And I feel like this one combs my eyebrows very well because um, I have got a lot of hairs, just a lot of sparse areas. So what we'll do now is the highlight. So the highlight I want to do is I want to, I want to have like more of a, a wet look kind of highlight and that I use the most for when I want like that wet looking highlight is this one from Jeffree Star. But I'm just going to go in and just mist my face because it's quite dry looking. I'm just going to shield my eyes for a bit. So this was the Body Shop. It's not Body Shop. It's in a Body Shop bottle but it's the Marie Badescu aloe vera and cucumber uh, spray. I do like the bottle, the spray bottle in the Marie Badescu one so I'll put it in my, um, my body shop one because it sprays a bit nice it doesn't spit at your face. So for the highlighter I'm going to pick up King Tut from this palette. As you can see it's a very well loved, it's got lots of um, pan hits on there. I should actually get the the full size one. I might do one day. I haven't yet. And then I'm just going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just literally patting on the colour. I'm not even blending it yet. Onto my cheekbones, the highest point, and also above my brows. I will go in and obviously blend it, but I like to pat there just because I've applied the facial spray. So I've got a little bit on the chin. So for my nose, I like to go in with my finger. So I put a little bit on the end of my nose and then right up to the bridge of my nose. You know where your glasses would um, be? And then I'll blend it in then with the brush. And then a little bit on the cupid bow. I'm just going to blend the cheekbones now. So I might put a little bit on like my brow bone area, just a little. I don't really know what kind of looks to go for. I just literally do it. And most of the time before you've got like your mascara and dry liner and everything on, it looks quite hideous and horrible. But once you do everything, it's totally fine. I'm gonna now go in with sarcophagus, which is the lightest color in the palette and just highlight my inner corner. I actually cannot live without my inner corner highlight. So I have to do this step. I mean, you don't have to, you can totally skip it. I was also gonna say, you could apply eyeliner to your lower waterline, but to me, it makes my eyes look a bit more smaller and squintier than they are. So if I leave that empty, it makes them look a bit more bigger and wider. And that's why I do this in the inner corner as well to make everything look a bit more open and wide. So I've just grabbed the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip, and this is in the shade Ginger Snap. So I used to use this again a lot as well, like back in the day. Um, so I'm gonna use this color for my lips. It's like a brownie nude, and that's the sort of nudes that I like. So you do get a little bit of apply time of like to just finesse the color into um, your lips and everything, but like I said, just don't smack them together until they're completely dry. And if you do want a another layer on top, then again, make sure they're dry. Um, I do like the formula. Um, sometimes it can get really dry in, so what I'd suggest is that you um, moisturize your lips and everything like that to begin with anyway. Um, and this basically is the final look. So this is my first ebook. So today is Tuesday. Um, I'm hoping to upload this on Thursday. Um, if it's not Thursday, then it'll be another day. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping to get up on Thursday. So this is the final look. So this is the eye. So I've gone for this smoky, winged out, um, black and yellow eye look. 
and with a nude lip. So like I said, you could do a red lip if you wanted to. I probably would have, but for right now, I'll just do nude. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Um, I'm hoping to do a couple of more looks as well for Eid um, and hopefully I'll get them up in time as well. And I'll hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.